Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on ISIS. Let's start our part 3. Next we examine the synchronization process on the point-to-point -point link. Now R1 and R2 establish a neighbor relationship. R1 will going to send a CSMP and R2 will also send a PSMP. Now assuming that the R2 determine that it doesn't have some of this information, R2 is going to request uh, from R1 by sending a PSMP, Partial Sequence Network PDO. Now when R1 receive it, it's going to send the LSP information to R2. Now assuming that if let's say R2 due to certain reason not able to send back the PSMP, R1 after retransmission timeout is going to send again and retry to send this LSP until the PSMP is received. So in another word, the PSMP act as a request as well as acknowledgement in the point-to-point. Uh, -point. All right, so next look into ISI's um, network type, or in this case, circuit type. Uh, I extended the uh, topology to add uh, router tree. Uh, before we look into the uh, circuit type based on point-to-point, -point, uh, I would like to go back into the router two, and uh, I'm going to set up a wire shot here. Okay, and uh, please remember that uh, router one, uh, I have set up the priority to become the uh, uh, DIS. So just to recap, so you can see that the uh, router one is at DIS. So on the router two, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a loopback one, and uh, I'm going to have the interface of with a loopback of 22 IP address as I is enable. Okay. Um, what I want to show you here is that in the Wireshark, if we look into our statistic now, okay. Uh, just now that I mentioned that the one that sent out the CSMP uh, is the DRS. Okay. So clearly that the router one is the uh, uh, DRS and as a non DRS you are just sending a hello okay now if we look into this part here after all the hello you notice that just now I actually sent out this uh, new uh, interface I set out a new interface and uh, that is being sent by router 2 through the LSP to the DRS okay so as you can see that that is a frame number 29 so if I go to the frame 29 here, okay, and if I'm going to expand it, you're able to see that this is the route that actually being sent. Okay, all right, so that is our LSP. All right, let me cancel my Wireshark here. All right, let's just continue our lab on the router two and router three. So let me start my router three. So this is a newly set up routers okay so while the router tree is bringing up I'm going to set up my IP address in the router 2 with the IP address of 10.0.23.2 okay and uh, I'm going to set up the router tree uh, with a loop address of uh, 3333 and I'm going to set up this as a um, same network entity as well, so I'm waiting it to come online. Okay, so the router is still putting up, it just wait for a while. Okay, so now the router is fully booted up. Uh, this is a newly um, a rout router that I added, so I'm going to set up from scratch. So let me set up the uh, interface here with 10.0.23.3 and uh, loop back 0 with the IP address of quad 3 okay so this one is my router 3 
Enable the ISIS is pretty simple. Okay, I'm going to use the new entity of 49.0. Quad 0. Quad 0. Triple 0. 3. Okay, and in the interface of K001, ISIS enable. And in the loopback 0. Okay, so I enable the uh, uh, interface on the router tree and let me double check okay so I have my interface that is up let me do a ping to 23.2 all right let me check my ISIS interface that's good okay so the interface is up let me go to router 2 and see my interface is up that's good. All right, so you can see that the um, all right, sorry, the uh, interface on the G001 is not up yet because I have not enabled ISIS yet. Okay, so now the ISIS is up. Okay, so it's up on the router tree just now. Okay, so now it is totally up. So the router tree, we also have it as up as well. Now, uh, what we can see here on the router tree, and uh, when I do a display IP routing protocol, ISIS, as you can see that I can see the uh, network number one, all right, the entry on number two, uh, entry of 10, 0, 12, and also have another loopback interface on the router too. Now what you can see from here is that they all form using a, a layer 1. And uh, what you can see also from here is that when I go into the interface on the gig 001, all right, so what you can see from here is that uh, this interface uh, basically is using a broadcast type, okay? And this is my IP, that's my MAC address, this is the uh, CSMP timer and the hello timer for both uh, L1 and L2, that's the uh, DIS hello timer, okay, alright, so that's our uh, setting on the router tree. Now uh, this exercise I'm going to show you, if let's say we are going to use a point to point. So how are we going to change the point to point? Now let me do a wire shot again. Okay. And um, let the wire shot run and I'm going to show you the flow. Okay, so this is a flow for our router 2 and router 3. Okay, I'll just leave it here first. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my router and I'm going to change the network type. So for you to change your network type, basically need, what you need to do is just go into your interface here, IS. You notice that over here. I need to go to the interface. I need to go to the circuit type. Okay. So by default, um, it's a broadcast type. I can change it to P2P. There you go. All right. So you can see that the interface go down. And uh, when I do a display, ISIS interface, you'll notice that there's no DIS over here. Okay. But it's still a level one, level two. So what I'm going to do is in here, I say that I'm going to change the type here to level one. Okay, so you can see that I'm going to change this to level one. Now on the router tree, I do a peer, display ISIS peer. You'll notice that there's no peer. Uh, reasons because they're in router 2 I have not changed yet okay so 
you can see that there's nothing over here. I just enable as eyes. So firstly, I'm going to say that this one is my circuit level, level one, and eyes are circuit type. Circuit type, I want to appear to point to point, sorry. So now, um, the, the uh, point to point is up, display, ISIS peer, okay. So you can see that now uh, we have a state that is up, okay. And display ISIS interface. Again, you can see that we have a up state on the IPv4. We do not have a DIS. And let's just look into our Wireshark one more time. So if let's say we look into our flow, okay. So just now you can see that we are using the CSMP and when we scroll down, okay, there you go. So we have our point to point hello. All right, do you see that? Okay, so you can see that we have the uh, hello that is changing from the uh, multicast hello to this hello that is in this particular frame. All right, that, that's in this frame. 57. Let me minimize this. Okay, you notice over here, that's our peer to peer, sorry, point to point. Okay, point to point. I keep on saying peer to peer. All right, so uh, this, this is the uh, MAC address that's being advertised, and this is a multicast address. So, um, sorry, let me go back to my Wireshark. And I'm going to change the resolution okay so you can actually see okay so I would like to show you okay so it seems like the uh, MAC address is still shown here okay never mind all right what you can see from here is that I have my conversation peer, uh, point to point okay and you can see that that's my point to point. Now, once you change your point to point, you'll notice that this is the uh, AE057C. It's actually sending to this. Oh, yeah, there's, there you go. All right, so you can see that now it's actually changed to our MAC address. So the name resolution is already disabled. Uh, just now I mentioned that this is a multicast. It's because that this one is a 0180C2, okay? So you notice that there is a 14 and there is also a 15 over here. Um, because 15 is a layer two hello, and 14 is a layer one hello, okay, layer one hello. So they are using the um, uh, this uh, MAC address, multicast MAC address, okay. So uh, level one hello is using 0, 0, 0, 0, 14 and level two hello is using 00015. Whereas if let's say you are using a point to point, uh, they are using this, um, the actual MAC address over here. Okay, so, so this is a, a point to point hello. Okay, so you can see that they are using a different destination. All right, now what you can see from here is that the uh, router 057C uh, so let me show you where is the 057C. So if let's say we go into the router tree here, display interface G001. Okay, so this guy is 52. And when I go into display interface G001, so this is a AE. Uh, 057C that's belong to router 2. So if let's say we go in and have a look, all right, so this is the uh, 7C, okay, that's belong to router 2. Router 2 to send the advertisement, okay, this is the 7C just now that I show you. 057C, 057C, so if I go into the um, router 3, Router 3 have 3752, 3752, 3752 is here, yeah. okay? So this is the router 3, okay? 
All right, so let, let us actually have a look on how this uh, whole thing behave. So this is where it's, it's actually changed to the point to point. Okay, and this point to point hello is actually being sent, all right, by this MAC address toward this MAC address 09002B. Okay, all right. And uh, you'll notice that this is where I want to show it to you. All right, so regardless on the router 2 and router 3, uh, they send the hello to this MAC address 09002B000005. And you can see that this is my hello. Okay, that's my LSB that's being sent by router 2. And this is sent by router 3. You notice that they are using PSNP. Okay, PSNP. And I have a CSNP over here. Now, the purpose of this uh, PSNP and the CSNP is that you notice that both the uh, router are using PSMP to send to this address to exchange uh, the route. Okay, and uh, you also will notice that here we have our PSMP is only being used during the exchange. All right. So if let's say we do not have anything, you notice that they are just sending a hello. Different compared to the uh, broadcast network where the uh, DRS is keep on sending the CSMP. Now just to give you a understanding here on the router tree, I'm going to create an interface. Okay, uh, hold on. Okay, so I have a loopback zero, so I'm going to create a loopback one with an IP address of 33, 33, 33, 33, 32, ISIS enable. Okay, so now we should see some advertisements going on. So if I scroll all the way to the bottom, okay, there you go. All right, so uh, there's where our LSP is being sent uh, that is being sent by the router tree do you see that that's my LSP and if let's say I go back into my system uh, my LSP is this guy uh, that it will be here okay so let me go back into my wire shot here so that is in the frame 188 let me double check on this there you go so there is the LSP and if I expand it, this is sent by router 3. And if I go in and have a look, that's my route. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.